and go to the war in Ukraine. The United States expected to introduce a resolution to the U.N. Security Council condemning Russia's sham referendum on call, uh, calling on member states to recognize any changes to Ukraine's borders. And joining us now for more is former Ukrainian President Petro Poroshenko. Mr. President, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you. Good to see you again, Mr. President. Um, I, I want to first get your reaction to this, this sham referendum held in four Ukrainian provinces that Russia wants to officially annex from Ukraine. We're talking about 15 percent of the country here. Um, what's your reaction to that? First of all, I want to thank the United States for their great leadership in uh, supporting Ukraine, Ukraine and supporting freedom and democracy. This is definitely not a referendum. This is, looks like in Gulag, under the gun, they ask the prisoner to trust or to support the uh, guarding with a machine gun. That's why it is not possible, the referendum, when there is under the uh, machine gun. This is not possible that they prepared for one day. And this is uh, just write down and do everybody who participated in organization, keeping, supporting, and providing this fake sham referendum should be prosecuted and uh, for attack for Ukrainian sovereignty and territorial uh, integrity. And if Russia use a veto right on the draft uh, resolution, this is just a recognition uh, for the Russian responsibility. And with that situation, definitely we need a special session of the General Assembly of the United Nations, because all the nations now make absolutely clear signal to Russia, stop, because you are pushing the world to the Third World War to the nuclear catastrophe. Yeah, Mr. Don't do that. Mr. President, uh, Putin declaring victory in these four provinces, but what does that uh, open the door for him to do? Uh, look, again, this is... Uh, we live now in absolutely different time. Uh, eight years ago, when I uh, started to be a president, uh, we were infected by the 70 years of the communism. And now this eight years was a clear vaccination. The grave in Bucha, in Mariupol, just one week, two weeks ago in Izum, in Balaklea, when we uh, liberated this territory, is just a clear evidence. What does it mean, Russian world for Ukraine? What does it mean, Russian world for the whole world. Right. And with that situation, every participant, every inhabitant of this occupied territory definitely would be against Russian world. Mr. President, I think this is important. Um, we keep hearing reports of Russian troops that cross into Ukrainian territory in the Donbass region in the eastern part of the country. They go into small towns and small villages, and they're yelling, where are the Nazis? Where are the Nazis? Uh, what does that tell you about what these these poor young men are being told in Russia before they suit up and 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 march to their death in Ukraine? Hmm. Definitely, this is very poisony. The Russian propaganda and the whole ra that now it's not only responsibility of Putin himself. This is responsibility of the whole Russian people, despite of the fact that they are poisoning by propaganda that in Ukraine are Nazis. But everybody can come to Ukraine and see that we are free, democratic, and European nation. And with this uh, situation, this is just an instrument that Russia wanna erase Ukraine from the world map. Hmm. And that's why it's so difficult to find out a compromise between Ukraine and Russia, because Russia wanna kill us, and we wanna live. And with that situation, not possible to have a gray zone. Yes. This is the type of the genocide. And this is in Russia, we have a fascist. In Russia, we have a Nazist who come here with their weapons in the hand to kill us. Absolutely. And that's why we are thank very much to the, our world partners for the pro-Ukrainian coalition for supporting Ukraine. But now we should create anti-Putin coalition for deputinize Europe, yes. for Deputinized world. Yes. Without Mr. that, 
security we cannot keep. Yes, Mr. President Poroshenko, thank you so much for joining us, sir. We really appreciate thank it. You. Yeah, thank, thank you, you, Mr. President. No crooked, crooked establishment. None of that twisting, twisting the truth. No talking down don't to me. Don't tell me how to think. Don't tell me how to think. Don't tell me how to think. I trust Newsmax. Newsmax. They don't tell, tell me how, how to think. think. They let, let me decide. Newsmax. Real news. For real people.